What's up everyone, it's your boy Razor Rush Plays back with another video. And before we start today's video, I just want to apologize for my large break in making videos. And another message is this video is filmed in 4K, so if you have a 4K TV, you can watch it on that. And this is also filmed on the brand new Xbox Series X. But without further ado, let's get started. I'm a so the Today we're going to be talking about the brand new Corvette C8 which just came with this week's update. And the way you unlock it is you have to do this fine new road season event. I've already completed it obviously, that's why I have the car. But it's just a three races, not nothing too shabby, where you race a classic, a classic Chevrolet and you have to win all three in a highly skilled dri driver tar settings. But now let's look at, take a look at the car. The car looks really nice. Now, this is a 2020 car, so it's probably about one year old, but the design is just, like, it's so beautiful. It looks amazing, but now let's get in and take a look at the amazing interior. So if you have a look, this is the interior. Nothing too fancy, just a load of buttons down that aisle, which is crazy. And we have our cup holders a screen and our steering wheel which is a bit big now switch it on and there we go it crackles a lot so if i just show you guys right now you can hear how loud this beast is it crackles so much so now let's head out of the festival this is the corvette c8 made in 2020 looks amazing let's rev it up a lot of crackles with this car. Yep, so it drifts really well. I'll just give you an example right now. So if I turn this corner. Yeah, okay, that, that was my fault for driving too fast around that corner. But yeah, it's a really nice car. It looks really cool. But it's not the fastest in the game, so let's see if we can upgrade this beast. So if we go down the straight, I'll show you how fast it goes. So not too fast, not too slow. It's in the middle, but it sounds like a beast, so it's competing with the Mustang. It doesn't look al alike with last um, year's Corvette. It doesn't look much like the last generation but it's the new design looks so good and now let's head to the festival and let's upgrade it to its maximum i'll see you guys there so now let's go to the garage upgrades and tuning custom upgrades and let's head to conversion engine swap first of all wow we have a lot of options today 8.7 is the best let's see that's a lot how much speed? That's 375 kilometers per hour, and and torque is 868 newton meters. Where's the horsepower? Well, I guess we can't see the horsepower. Let's get that. 50,000 bucks. Not too shabby. All-wheel drive. Nope. Gets rid of a chunk of our speed. And 9.3 with the supercharger. Let's go. Now, let's see what else we can get. Engine, fuel system, 9.4, that's nice. 9.5, not too shabby. 9.6, we're going up, boys. 9.8, there we go. But everything else goes red, but no one cares about all that stuff. We just want speed today. 9.9, .9, can we get to 10? Mm. Now, everything turned green. Can we get it to 10? 9.9 .9 still. Should we make it lower? I guess it looks okay like that, so we're not going to make it lower. Now, 9.9 .9 still. 7.7 on your handling, which is not too bad. Yeah, we don't need that. Weight reduction, that's going to help a lot. So it's slowly becoming extremely fast. Race clutch. Race transmission. Stock driveline and race differential. T 
tire compound. Maybe we can make a racing tire. I th oh, we have 10 launch and 10. I don't want drag tires. No, thank you. Go racing tire compound. Let's make it apart. Okay, that looks pretty good. So, 96,000. And we're not even done. Actually, we are done. Because no one needs an uh, oversized wing. 10. This gets it to 10. Don't mind if I do. There we go. So, this is our upgraded com um, Corvette C8. And... 96,000 a fair bit of money but it's good for the speed back install setup let's buy it and I'll see you guys when we can test it on the drag strip okay guys so we are now at the drag strip and as you can see we have a lot more power and this thing looks really sick I can't stop saying that but I love the design on this car the interior as well looks amazing but without further ado in three two one, let's go. Not much grip, but yup, it's really thundering down that race. 285. That's a new personal best. This car is definitely fast then. This car is definitely fast. So now, I am going to head over to the LEGO Speed Champions to LEGO Valley, and we're going to go around the racetrack. I'll see you guys there. Okay guys, so I'm on, I'm on my way to the racetrack, and as you can see, it is a lot better drifting. Probably because of the added horsepower and added torque. So that's pretty cool. So now we can do a load more drift, drifts without crashing too much. But it's a lot of speed to handle, so it's very hard to control. So guys, before we get started, I just want to say I obviously turned on a traction control and stability control because I can barely handle these, this car and I'm not sure what it's going to be like around this track, whether it's going to do well, whether it's going to skid off the track, but let's find out. Let's go. So r straight away I can feel that I have more control when I put traction control on. So it's not really drifting as much as it was before. But yeah, that, that happened. <laughs> So, it's a bit too much power for the power to handling ratio, so I think it needs more handling. And, yeah, it's going, it's really hard to control around these corners going at speed. Yeah, as you can see, I just went straight. I literally failed at speed zone at the last second, no! Well, I guess I went too hard on the throttle. So yeah guys, that was a wrap for the circuit. Now let's head on to an actual race. Okay guys, so we are about to start this Falcon Speedway Sprint. So this is still in the racing track. And it just goes around. So let's see whether it has enough control to go around the track. So it's a bit of a loopy track. It has a lot of turns. So I'm going to take it a bit slower than I was going to. Because I probably will lose control with the amount of power this car has. Better concentrate on my... Oh, don't tail end into that car. Yep, now we've got the sprint. Okay. Let's see if we can go around the slow coaches. That was unnecessary, but... Yep, let's go. Look how far- Okay, should probably concentrate on the road. But look how far away I am from all the other cars. It's bizarre how fast this car can go. Okay, never mind, they caught up to me now. So I guess that I need to add better tires on this car since there's not much handling on, on it, even though it's an- And I should probably make it all-wheel drive as well because I stuck to rear-wheel drive because it got rid of power. So it's more of a sp drag racing car rather than a rather than a track racing car, since it's more likely to spin off the track rather than um, spin off the track in a straight. There we go, right into the Aventador or whatever. I think that was a. Whew. 
Oof, we're going fast. Wow, it's so hard to control this thing around the corners. Try and get first place. There's a Lexus LFA and an R8 in front of us. Come on. Straight. Oh, we're at 96%. Third place, not too shabby. We beat loads of cars. So this car, I could say this car is a really nice car. We're at the S2 955 class. I think that's the highest class in this whole race. And so we beat a Reventon. Okay, that was Reventon, not an Aventador. These are not really that fa fast of cars, not hypercars, but they are high class supercars. So it is a bit of work to um, to beat them. So guys, that's my full review of the Corvette C8. So you just have to do three races to unlock it. And when you max it out on all the upgrades, it is an absolute beast of an American muscle car. And I really love the design of the car. It looks really futuristic. And it kind of doesn't apply to the laws of Corvette looks. Oh, we got a trophy truck. But yeah, with that, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. But without further ado, peace. We're the best. We're the best.